Barcodes provide machine-readable identifiers that can be used to track parts through manufacturing and distribution. The Ember 3D printer can print very small barcodes using the same resin used to print the small parts they identify. In order to make the codes legible by barcode readers, there must be high contrast between the cells and the spaces between them. With a single color of resin, differences in printed texture can provide that contrast. Start by creating a bitmap image of the barcode you want to print. There are free online tools that generate various types of barcodes from an input text. Now we need to process the barcode. With DLP printing, you use image masks to choose where the resin will solidify. If we use just the plain black and white barcode, we get raised flat areas where there were white pixels and lower flat areas where there were black pixels. But if we look down from the top, the way an automated camera would look at the barcode, it's very difficult to see. We can only infer the barcode from the shadows. To increase the contrast, we give the background a checkerboard texture. So when it's printed, the shadows of the fine texture create a distinct difference in luminosity with the pixels of the barcode. The smallest 10 by 10 barcode here is only one square millimeter. This process for 3D printing barcodes was developed by Richard Green of the Ember team. If you want to know more, check out his Instructable linked in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to learn more about DLP printing and have a fantastic day.